So y'all already know this where I keep my phone. So I'm gonna give y'all this quick tip. So I was just on the block, side street, cause that's, you know, whatever. Uh, and I was getting ready to park where I get ready to park and I seen this red car red four-door uh, And then that's on the left side of the street and then I look on the right side of the street I see two male blacks on the street look like they was, you know, drying off a car and no car washes about seven in the morning And so I see them turn around they wear all black they got the full face mask covered But half of their face is showing so I sit there and I see them uh, And they turn around and see me now. I'm driving so you can't see my hands and the steering wheel and stuff like that. So as soon as I seen them turn around and I didn't see their hands, the first thing I did was kind of avert my eyes from them because you don't want to make direct eye contact, but you still want to see. But I put my hands up just like this and I drove straight through. Why did I do that? Because you got to understand when you navigate in certain neighborhoods and you on the block, you got to understand how they think and how they move and how they operate. They don't see your hands. I remember a time when there used to be specific cars back in the 80s and 90s and stuff like that where you could sit here and these would be your, you know, hood cars. You know, your bubble tops, your Caprices, your Monte Carlos, your Rivieras. And if I got forgot any car, just sound off in the comments. But now any car gets used for anything. So you got to understand that when you're in Chicago and you're on the block and you see some guys when the hands disappear, it accelerates the fear. That's not just for the police, that's also for the streets. When they can't see hands and they think you suspicious, they don't know you. You know you and you don't know them, right? So I'm just gonna go on ahead, throw my hands up, show them that I am not aggressive. Let me tell you, I just did that the whole time. I walked past, you know, sometimes you gotta operate on faith, you know? Uh, just because you got that gun, people ain't afraid because you got that gun, they got guns too. And I didn't see his hands and he was looking. It was nothing for him to pull out whatever he had. I'm for sure. I'm already knowing he had a gun. I'm already knowing he would have upped it. He would have used it. I'm not in a position to shoot. I don't even want to shoot the whole time. I just want to go in here and just get it through, make it safe. They get through, they make it safe. They could have just got through carjacking somebody because they both look like that red car was waiting. You know, they had just gotten out that red car. They put their newfound prize or whatever they got from somebody they put it someplace and they were using that rag and when they were using that rag they could have been wiping off any prints you just don't know but i'm really happy for the street training that i have being in the hood but not being of the hood my training in law enforcement my training just in life just paying attention to stuff you learn how to stay out the way and how to survive when you don't always rely on that gun, you rely on the best weapon that you got, and that's the six inches between your ears. This instructor, Mike, and you've been trained. Hey, y'all better pay attention. Stop thinking criminals ain't smart. Stop thinking people in the streets are always criminals. They may conduct criminal-like behavior, but they got lives. They matter too, and your life matters too. Right now, it's about you getting about that jam and you making sure that you make it home to your family. Stop relying on that pistol, because I could have sat there and looked at him and be like, what, what's up? It would have been a shootout. I'm in a coffin. A car is a coffin. You understand that? You ain't got no place to physically move other than navigate this car. You better use that six inches between your ears and that's your brain. This instructor, Mikey, you've been trained. Hope this video helps. When you pass through the on blocks and you own the block and you see guys, right, it's best to keep your hands right here, right here. I know I tell y'all to put it on 11 with the police. You got to keep it on 12 on the streets. 11 with the police, 12 in the streets. 11 with the police, 12 in the streets. Keep your hands just like this when you're driving, right? I know you can't see my hands, but that's how I got them, except they're at the 12 o'clock position just like this, so that way they know you ain't got no gun in your hand, especially because I got all tents. I don't have a fishbowl where you can see all the way through, so you got to learn how to navigate. This is a long video, but I hope this helps. All right, peace.